definitely my daily routine. Get loaded up, take a bunch of stuff to the post office, upload some videos. Why are you oh, leaving me? Hey. Why are you leaving me? You just helped me get it started. He's running. Now, let me reveal to you my secret. So what had happened was I called Devin this morning. Long story short, Devin and I have become friends over the last few years, and I called him this morning. He's on the road, because he drives truck now full time. And I'm like, yo, I cannot get this first gen to start. I'm like, I hear a big click, like a smack. Almost like it's trying to start, but no cranking, no nothing. He's like, have somebody get in the truck and keep hitting the key and just start beating the crap out of the starter with the hammer. He's like, I bet it's just seized up from sitting for two, three months. I'm like, okay. And I actually stopped by AutoZone to talk to a guy there just to see what he would say because he's a guy that I've worked with over the last few years, just kind of like whenever I have questions. He's like the only guy at AutoZone that actually knows his crap in terms of diesel stuff. And he drives comments, he works on all this stuff. And I was there and I said, hey, this truck doesn't want to start. I'm hearing one loud click and that's it. Plenty of power, it's got a brand new battery. He's like, he said the same thing. He's like, have somebody try to turn it over. You get under there, hit it with a hammer. He's like, it'll probably fire out. I had my wife get in, hit the starter with a key and then I freaking went under and started whacking that starter solenoid with a hammer and it just slowly but surely kept cranking a little more, a little more, a little more then just fired right off. I want to drive it so bad even though I know I shouldn't technically. Screw it, I'm gonna drive it. Get my mirrors adjusted and I am gonna paint all this red. Is all gonna, it's all gonna be black. So I'm actually gonna just take this around the block. I'm just gonna drive it. I'm not going far, I'm just gonna go down around the corner and then back. I just wanna see how this thing runs and drives and get it moving a little bit because I haven't moved this thing in a long time. Maybe I can get you guys a really crappy view of me driving this thing. I haven't driven this thing in a long time. It makes me really nervous, honestly. This is not good. You gotta be joking. Well, I tried to take my first drive in the truck and this is where it got me. Dead on the side of the road. Well, now I gotta call somebody and get some help because I guarantee that starter's not gonna wanna start back up. And I think the reason it died was I bumped this kill switch and uh, killed the truck and now it doesn't wanna start again. Yo. Yo, I need you to grab the hammer out by the barn and get your car and come get me. <laughs> Make sure you bring the hammer. Yes. But here comes my rescue mission. He's gonna be like, what the frick? Don't even ask what happened, bro. This is what we need to fix it. So I'm actually gonna have you get inside the truck and try to start it and I'm gonna get under and start beating the starter solenoid again. Do I need to press the clutch and the brake? Yeah, uh, no, just the clutch. It's already in neutral. Just wiggle the shifter just to make sure. Yeah, it's a neutral. You'll push that clutch in all the way to the floor, mm -hmm. and then you're just gonna go click, 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 like try to start it, yeah. and then uh, we'll see what happens. Persuasion device. Now you might want to follow me home, bro. Okay. Just in case I don't get it again. This clutch has such a deep throw in it. Like you have to throw it all the way to the floor for it to grab. I'll let you know if we don't make it home safe. Oh look, keys off, keys out. And that's what killed it when I was going on the road too. Bumped it with my leg. Now what I'm gonna work on real quick is I'm gonna get this all buttoned up and cleaned up down here against that, this fuse panel mess here. And this is not going to be in the way like it is right now. And then under the hood, you can see all these freaking wires. This guy completely like just hillbilly wired the entire thing, which is fine, it works, but the way the switch is just dangling in there, you just smack it with your knee and then you just randomly kill your truck by accident and I, don't, I just don't wanna be dealing with that. So I'm gonna take some zip ties because that's the remedy for most of your 
automotive needs, of course. So we're gonna take this, zip tie a bunch of stuff up, make it look a little bit neater, as ugly as it is, and just get this cleaned up a little bit better. Much better. I got the plate put back on there. Got to wipe it out a little bit, a little bit dusty, but at least got that fuse box hidden behind there. And then I got the switch to where now it's like right up here under the steering wheel. Still not ideal. We're gonna have to move it around or figure out how to eliminate this all together so we can just start it like it's supposed to. Um, but for now, that's what works and that's how it starts and runs. So we're gonna have to work with it for for the time being. So right now, what we're gonna try to do is I'm probably gonna remove the seats. That way we can get the carpet laid in there piece it in and then put the seats back in the truck. Scratch the leather on the door. <laughs> Here's the current status of the carpet insulation. I got it decently fitted around the shifter. I'm not done with getting it around the four wheel drive shifter. I got the excess folded up and set in the back because I'm not sure if I'm going to run it up the wall or not yet. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. It's not going to be that hard if I do decide I just have to fold it back, straighten it out, and put the glue on. Um, but I also have to replace the speakers and all this stuff still, so I don't really wanna like mess with any of this stuff back there quite yet. I'm gonna get the bench put back in here, and I got the holes drilled through the carpet where I need to line it up with those holes. I got the seat belt, I don't know what you call this part. The part of the seat belt fastened into the ground where it's supposed to be, that way, uh, once the seat's in, you can actually, you know, buckle. So let's get this bench put back in and see how it looks. Got quite a bit done. There's one spot that kind of looks bad, which is right there. Other than that though, everything fit in very nicely. I need to vacuum this out because I was in there crawling around doing stuff and all that other stuff. But we do have our seat belts fastened into the ground there where they're supposed to be. So that way we can, and it should work then. So we actually have a seat belt in the truck. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the center console because I did have a center console, but it was completely destroyed. I'm also waiting on my weather stripping kit because I got to put all new weather stripping around the doors. And then once I get the weather stripping on the doors, I have these sill plates back here and those are supposed to sit along here and it kind of like blends the carpet with the weather strip and kind of like seals it all down along this edge. And then that'll be pretty much done in terms of that stuff. All the trim, everything is going to be black inside. Here's the headliner board that came out of that truck. I'm probably gonna have that wrapped black as well with a black headliner, just because if everything else is gonna be black, might as well just have it done black. On our way to the interior place to get the headliner dropped off to get done, my wife is actually getting a headliner done on one of her trucks as well. So we're gonna be heading up there right now. It's about a 30 minute drive, get there, drop this off. What we do after that, I'm not sure, but I am gonna have the headliner completely redone in black as I, I think I already mentioned that, not like the grayish, bluish, weird color that they used to have in the first gen that it originally came with because we want the entire interior pretty much blacked out except for the seats. Can somebody please explain to me what the purpose of taking a paved road, you can see a piece of the pavement there, right there, okay. Well, this was a perfectly nice paved road. I don't even remember there being really any issues with it. And they completely dumped gravel front to back. The entire length, of this road. I'm really confused. It does not make sense to me. I don't know about you, but the stance on that first gen has got to change. It looks so goofy. So what I'm actually gonna do right now is give the OBS Ford an overdue wash because I am gonna be taking it to get the paintwork fixed and dropping it off this week before the weekend. And it's just got some dirt on it, some dust. You can see like some rainwater spots and stuff all over it. I mean, it's just, it's just a little bit nasty. Um, and I wanted to get the wheels cleaned off because I never did like wipe them down after I put them on the truck and they were pretty dusty. So we're gonna get that done real quick. Do not forget that every $1 is 10 entries to win that truck. And I believe you only have 48 hours left to get that deal. Basically 48 hours left or less 
to get entered to win this and get your 10x entries. And guess what? We are bringing back random cash in every single order. The 10% thing now is just the minimum. So you're not gonna get less than 10% cash back, but there's gonna be a lot of people that get a lot more than 10% back. Enjoy this little video while we wash this thing down. Much better. No more mud on the bed sides. Wheels are all nice and shined up. Other than the paint chips that need fixed, this thing is clean as I get. I gotta tell you guys, I was not a fan of the idea of putting these on this truck. I was doing it literally as a joke. Cause I'm like, man, everybody freaking hates the forces finals. Like I'm off. Well, I actually really like the way this thing rides and drives on these. Thank you so much for watching the video. Remember, if you want to enter to win that OBS power stroke plus five thousand dollars cash this week only until Saturday, August 22nd, which is in 48 hours, every one dollar is 10 entries, and then that deal is gone. It is not coming back, and the giveaway itself ends in about two weeks. So if you want to get entered, time is running out. Stuff selling out, hats are almost completely wiped out again. There's almost no hats left. If you want to grab something, do not waste any time because it's not going to get easier to grab stuff. Once it winds down, more people are going to start to enter at the last minute and you're going to be out of luck. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.